guys you welcome again to my youtube channel so this is another tutorial video and trust me you are going to love this one you are definitely going to love it i can't wait to actually do this video my name is Jocelyn Carlos Suriano and I'll be showing you how to make this beautiful dress. You can see this is the top where we're going to start from. Then we'll work down to the waist, which is actually the problem for some people. I actually even made a mistake while making this white one. And it goes with a pants because it is mesh and you'd want to cover yourself. So I made a pant for it. I have pants tutorial here in my YouTube channel. You can just check my videos below. You'll see pants tutorials. Um, I would be using, I'll be using this color of yarn. It's from Yarnspiration. I bought it from Walmart. It's the Red Heart Super Saver Jumbo Size Yarn. And for this white one, I used one but it was not really enough so i had to use extra strands from the second one but not a lot but this particular one i'll be making it longer so i might use one and a half of this so this is the weight of the yarn this is the weight of the yarn 10 ounce this is the gram of the yarn the yarn the in gram is 283 grams the length like the yard and the meter the yard or the meter if you're measuring in yard it's for 482 yards in meters it is 440 40 meters that's if you're measuring in meters okay and the recommended um, pin for this is um, six millimeters but i would be using 3.50 millimeters okay then you need your scissors too and you need your tape for measurement so this is very easy like it is a very short video i'm going to start from um the top so i'm going to work from from top when i say from top the bra so I'm going to start from here, walk down. You can start from the ropes, but I'm just going to start from the um, bra, walk down. Then I'll join them together here. Then I'll work on the downside. Um, this size is medium size. The medium size, um, you can check female medium size. This is for medium and small. This can fit small. This can fit medium. So this is medium and small size. That's size 6, size 8, and size 12 can wear this particular dress. If you're bigger than this, you might have to start um, a longer chain. For example, this is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 chains. You might have to do 8 to 10 chains if you have bigger boobs. Like if your breast is bigger you need to do longer chain to start if your breast is a little bit smaller if you know you're very small like extra small like this from this place to this place you might have to do just two chains or one chain so that's how to differentiate your measurement the measurement is just from the breast side from the up to the down the waist is a rope that connects the front and the back okay from the waist you connect the front and the back and then the rope you can add as much as you want you can ask for your customer size and then the waist you can get the size from let's say 26 28 to 40 to whatever size the person is but the breast is very important because some people might have um big waist and their breast is small so you have to understand that too so let's get to it already so like i said it's going to be a very fast one i'm starting with a knob like this you make your magic circle and you make um 
chains i did five for the other one so i'm going to do i did five double crochet that means i'm going to do eight chains one two three four five six seven eight because i'm going to skip one two three the first chain being my first double crochet and on the fourth one i'm going to do a double crochet making it second double crochet on this row so i'm making my third double crochet my fourth double crochet and my fifth double crochet so the calculation was not even you can see you have one left here so from what i'm seeing you have to do i'm starting with six double crochet on the bottom so the bottom chain eight and we're starting with six that means this one is already bigger than the white one by one chain which doesn't matter so i'm doing my three chains and turning and i'm starting to increase immediately so i'm increasing here yeah, i'm not going to the second one to do a double crochet i'm going on the first one like this just immediately below the chain so i'm making a double crochet all through double crochet all through and on the last one you put two double crochet in the same place so i have put one already yeah i'm going to add another one good so now i'm going to do three chains and turn and i'll repeat this as you are repeating this adding one at the end and one at the end you notice that it is increasing on its own so you have to make more places of this now how many rows you're going to make the depends on how how big the person breast is and how big your startup chain is if for example the person is an extra large person and you're making 12 chain as a startup um this thing as a startup chain you have to make it bigger it's going to be bigger it's going to grow bigger very fast so i'm going to show you when you're going to stop crocheting but for now i'm going to just keep repeating this that means adding one at the end and adding one at the end increasing at the end i'm going to just continue okay so this is how far i've come and this is 15 but i planned on making this one more than 15 and there's a little trick that i did here that i want to show you guys first of all this one you can see like i said i started with one two three four five double crochet that is i started with eight chains bottom chains and i skipped three and i went back to the fourth one making it um six double crochet total right but this one is one two three four five instead of six so this one is automatically one chain bigger than this one which is perfect because i felt like this one was too small for me <laughs> yeah so in this place there is this look carefully you can see that i did something here in this last one two three rows i did I I mixed up stitch here. I reduced stitch here. I reduced here. This is because every bra of a cloth has something. It has to. It doesn't have to go straight up like that. It has to have that curve of a bra. That is why I did that thing I did there. Even though it did not show, I did it. Even though you do not do it. Even though you cannot do it, I did it. So I just decided. Let me show you guys how I did it. So on this 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, on the 13 stitch, I'm going to reduce two stitches in the middle while I will still add at the end. I'll reduce two stitches in the middle and that will do the work. So at the end, I'm making my three chains as my first double crochet and I'm turning and I'm doing double crochet in the first place thereby increasing in the first stitch and i'm going to go you have to count 
all the stitch and divide it into two now i let's assume i have counted my stitches and i'm getting to the middle now i'm going to take this two stitch as a two middle stitch i will make that two middle stitch to become one stitch by making double crochet half double crochet like you're not completing it then you're going again okay half double crochet again you bring out everything together and then you make these two knobs has become one knob instead so when we are coming back we're going to do the same thing only there okay we're going to do the same thing only there so we're going to crochet to the end and when we come back we'll still do the same thing so at this other end don't forget that you're increasing even if you're reducing in this middle so at this other end i'm putting one double crochet another double crochet in the same place chain three turn your work and go back to the middle and do the same thing so increase and continue without increasing till the middle so i am at the middle and i'm going to do the same thing i did okay let me complete this so i'm going this is the stitch this is where i did you can see this stitch so i'm going to put in there put in, in another one and bring out so i don't know how big you want your your bra cup to be because basically this is the bra cup so i'm just going to go one more time and my total rows for this will be 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 oh my god we are not going to use counting let me get my tip because if i say 14 your 14 might not be the same as my 14 so let's not make that mistake of counting okay let's not make that mistake of counting so perfect we are going to use nine it's eight inches it's eight inches now let's see if we'll do eight and a half you can see if you're watching this video now count your nine inches you see that it is not the same as my number your numbers of rules that make an inch might not be the same as my numbers of rules that make an inch in that my kimono the kimono i did in my previous video people are saying oh i made 20 boxes but it's too small how is your own big my pin is big my yarn the strands of my yarn is thick so you cannot expect your um your one inch to be my one inch my one inch of crochet might be you see each row is almost an inch each row is almost an inch it's just many just small centimeter like one centimeter to be an inch but your row might not be up to half inch self not to talk of being one inch you understand so it just depends on the type of yarn and the type of pin that you use okay so always use your tape if i say do eight inch do eight inch with your tape not eight rows if i say eight rows you must be using the same pin and the same yarn that i use if i say shoulder to waist is 20 inches do 20 inches with your tape not with your rows okay do 20 inches with your tape not with your rows because your rows might not be as as large or as big as mine I hope that is clear now thank you very much um so heading forward i have reduced here just like i said and um, i'm just going to complete it and you need two of this okay you need two of this 
this piece now you need to because the left breast and the breast and the, the right breast the left chest and the right chest i don't know if i can say it but in this thing <laughs> but yeah we need to so i'm gonna do another one so we've done two parts of it and um i'm going to go to the next step which is uh, supposed to be like this so i'm going to turn my work like this now i'll be crocheting back but this time after making my three chains i'll go into the next place don't increase stop increasing i'm going into the next place and making double crochet now i'm doing three chains I'm skipping three places one two three and on the fourth one I'm making double crochet then repeating it three chains skip three places on the fourth one double crochet till I get to the middle Okay, and the fourth one, unfortunately, is not the last one. Okay, on the fourth one, we are going to do double crochet. And watch now. I'm going to join this part and this part. The fourth one here is not the last one. If it was the last one, I would have done this thing there in, that I want to do now. So on the last one, on the last one, I'm going to go in here. I'm going in into the last stitch here the last knob of the stitch and i'll make double crochet okay so i have joined it with a double crochet and now i'm going to do my three chains and i will skip three and on the fourth one double crochet If you do not get it, I'm going to do it again because of beginners. So, if, and only if this is your last one, after making your chain, you go in from this side and you go in from this other side. That means you go in, put in your pin there, put in your pin in the last one of this, in the last knob of this other side and you bring out your yarn <coughs> and then you yarn over and yarn over like that we can do that and just continue nobody's gonna know but i'm going to do it again so that it will be two in the same place because that was not the last one so i have done two in that same place so now I'm going to do three chains and I'm going to skip three on the fourth one. I'm continuing. So one, two, three on the fourth one. I'm continuing. So this is how it looks like now. <clears throat> I am loving it. So now I'm going to do three chains. I have turned already. And I'm going to go in here. Three chains and I'll go in here. I said three chains. Three chains, the next one. Three chains, the next one. Three chains, the next one till you get to the end. Guys, for the most important part, now we are going to start working on the waist. And this is where your measurement comes in because whatever you're doing here can actually displace this thing 
if it's a bra it's gonna fit a small a medium or a large now the problem with this the problem you might encounter with this is the waist region if you don't get the waist waist region well you might not it might not fit all your sizes so now for the medium size i'm going to use a waist size 30 and um, that's because my waist is size 30 right now guys when i started this youtube channel my waist was 27 now i have grown so i'm going to get to the end and i'm looking for a waist size 30 so from here to here is 15 16 21 so from here to here is 16 as as a 15 so i'm going to do a chain of 15 inches to complete this place to be 30. so if your waist is smaller if your waist is smaller you have to do a shorter chain if your waist is 25 you have to calculate this place and add the remaining inches that is left if your waist is 25 and you already have 15 you know you have to do 10 inches long chain 10 inches long not 10 chains so 10 inches long chain that means you can see this this step is by inches 60 inches so each of this line is called one inch one inch each of this is one inch two inch three inch four inch so you measure by inch for those that do not understand so i'm going to measure this and this is you can see this is 15 already so i've got my 15 inch long you can see it is 15 inch long chain because that is what i need if your customer is bigger you can use a bigger long a longer inches inches not centimeter this one is centimeters centimeters while this one is inches so you count on this other side okay yeah so i'm going to use these inches and then i'm going to join the chain like this to the other side so we have this so i'm going to put in my yarn like this i'm bringing out this chain like this and i'm making chains one two three four now i'm going to start treble crochet now it's another stitch triple they call it triple crochet they call it treble crochet they call it um i don't know how they call it again no but i know triple crochet i know treble it's the same stitch i'm going to do it now so you see it the same stitch i use for my kimono if you don't know about my kimono look down on my channel right here you will see the kimono it's a very beautiful luxury kimono it takes a lot of time but that's why it's luxury right um so i'm going to wrap twice like this and i'll go in here like that and draw your stitch so that it will be longer so one two three times it's called triple because you have to go in you have to go out three times one two three you take your stitch like that and you go to the next one and you do this one two three that's it one two three one two go to the next stitch and do one two three now the interesting parts of this crochet is the fact that on the i don't know you can see let me show you guys so you don't get confused this is what actually confused me and it took me so long to decide to make this dress 
because I have seen this dress on people, right? I'm not a creator. I, I, I saw inspirations, even though it was not like this. I had to make the top like this. I was thinking, how do I make it to be bouncy? Now, this is where you don't have to make that mistake. In some, the first row, I put two in the same place here. Yeah? Okay. Then I put one, one, one. I did not skip anything. Okay. I did not skip anything. I did not skip anything when I started. And then I started putting one, two, three, four, five, six in the same place. So you have to watch carefully. Don't rush. This video is very short. It's one of the shortest video I am going to be making. So this one, I think this is the second row. So I'm not going to increase because it's supposed to be normal crochet. So I'm just going to do normally. Then I will increase massively on the on the next one. So I'm going to go around first. Okay, guys. So I have done triple crochet without increasing on the first step, and now I'm going to do three chains, triple crochet, but now I'm skipping one, two, three. On the fourth one, I'm doing triple crochet on the chains. I don't want to skip any process. That's why I'm recording every process step by step. So on the chain, I'm going to work on the chain, skipping three chains. On the fourth one, I'll do triple crochet. So I make a chain to fill up this place, one, two, three. And on the fourth one, I'm making triple crochet or triple crochet three chains skip one two three on the fourth one triple crochet so i'm going to work like this on all the chains and the chain ends where the where i started so okay i'm at the end of the chain and this is how it looks so i'm going to join it with a single crochet after making my chains so I'm going to join it here, single crochet. So now we can start adding to make it bouncy and ruffles as it's supposed to be. So now I'm going to do one, two, three, four as my first triple crochet and I'm going to take it and I'm going to do triple crochet in the next stitch immediately after. One, two, three chains. Now on the next one, I'm doing in here, not here. Okay. Now I want to start increasing. So the next one, now we are not skipping any place. I'm doing one, two, one, two, three. In the next one, I'm doing, see, I'm putting it here. One, two, three. The next one I'm doing there. <coughs> one, two, three. The next one I'm putting it here. One, two, three. The next one I'm doing here. So we've done one, two, three, and the fourth one now. Now, one, two, three. This is the fourth place. I'm going to do one, two, three. I'll put five or six inside this place. I'm still doing my chains while I'm putting it. One, two, three. Inside the same place. That's three. One, two, three, four. That's four inside the same, four triple crochet inside the same place. I'm going to add one. So I'm going to use five for this. Five in the same places. So after doing my five, I'm going to go on the next stitch, which is this stitch. I'm not skipping the stitch. I'm going on that stitch. The white one was not really thick, 
the way I needed it, but it was really, it was thick, but it was not really thick, you understand? So I want to make this one to be really thick because I have enough wood. I was not sure of the yarn I had for the white one. So this one is gonna be different. It's gonna bouncy. It's gonna be one and only. I might not ever do it like this again. <laughs> Even if a customer wants it. <laughs> because it takes a lot of time. But yeah. One, two, three. So you have to know this that after one box two box three box on the fourth box is where i'm adding you can choose now let me explain this before i go further you can choose to add on all the box so it will be very thick i don't know if you want to that kind to be like ruffle but you can also choose to skip more boxes than i am skipping because i'm skipping just i'm doing one one two three on the fourth one so you can decide to do one two three four five on the sixth one you do your ruffles like this okay for me i'm using four for now so one two one two three four Gang, gang, these are the type of mistake you should start avoiding. So, yeah, I'm doing on the fourth one. And the fourth one is the middle one. Thank God, this is the middle one. That's what I was aiming at getting. I was aiming at getting the rough wool here. Yeah? One, two, three. I was aiming at the middle one so that there will be a ruffle in the middle one. There will be a ruffle by the side and by the side. So I got it for the front. I'm going to try to aim like that for the back. Well, if you don't understand what I'm saying, I don't know how to explain again. That's the best way I can explain. And yes, I'm doing my triple crochet chain three, triple crochet in the same place five times. Okay. this is exciting and guess what it is almost done like from here i would not even have to show you guys anything one two three four five because this is like all you need you don't need any other thing you don't need any other thing you don't need to see any other thing this is all you need if you got into this part it's too many just one more step and we are done with this video and i'll show you guys the final final look guys oh this crochet is actually luxury three four this crochet is actually luxury like when i say luxury i mean luxury because hmm it takes time nobody should tell you otherwise it takes time and time is what time is money and money is what money gives you luxury so crochet is luxury there's nothing anybody can tell me crochet is just it it is what it is so if you're a crochet designer yes you are that girl whether they like it or not whether they accept it or not you are that girl it is not easy to sit and make something this beautiful out of just yarn one strand of yarn so if you're doing this if you're watching this video one two three four i want to tell you that you are creative you are amazing you are beautiful and you are very very hard working because this is hard work. A lazy person cannot do it. You sleep. It can get boring. So you're amazing. You're creative. Don't give up. Keep going. Keep going. One day you'll be there. Trust me. So I have 
managed to get one two three places and now i'm going to try to do to do it for the back to so that's do three places then on the fourth one i'll do this thing that i already told you guys that's triple crochet chain three triple crochet in the same place five times that's it basically let me go around okay so you can see it's already given what it's supposed to give this is a cute top on its own like this <laughs> yeah so um i succeeded in making in doing um one two three four one two three four for the back two so we don't have any problem with that um i'm at the end here and i'm just going to join it like i did the previous time i'm going to do my three chains always always do your three chains then join and fortunately for me it's still the same thing but it seems wait it seems after this one did i even do okay sorry i missed it though because i have to do this five 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 fours because if you don't do it consistently one side will be thick the other side will not be thick so you have to make sure if you're skipping five you skip five all through so that it will rhyme if you're skipping six before like if you're doing um this stuff in the sixth place you should do it all through six 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 if you're doing it three places you should um, make sure it's three places I don't know how to explain it further but yeah you should make it rhyme the space you're giving before you add five in the same place should be the same for all front and back it should be the same for round except you except to join here maybe it is not too complete so that might not matter a lot so another trick is that there is actually between this place that i did five in one year then i joined it and this place that i started there's a long space and if i don't do something this place is going to be exposed because it is long one two three four five so i'm going to add here so I'm going to do triple crochet and go in the next one. So now I'm going to do three chains, go into the next one and do triple crochet. Then the next one, I'll do this, go in like this. Go in again because I want this place to be like the others. I don't want it to be spacious. Then I go in again. That is um, four times instead of five times. I've added here. So that being done, I'm not going to do this again because if I do it again, it will be too much. One, two, three. So now on this other ones, I'm just going to go normally. When I say normally, I'm not going in like this. Okay, I'm going in like this. That's normally. Then chain your three, you go to the next one, you make your this thing normally. Let me look at this one to confirm. I think, yes, that is what I did. Mm -hmm. Then three chains and now. I'm almost see I mistake here. I did a mistake here. I did not do chains. Don't do that mistake. So now I'm going to do chains and correct it. Now for this ones that I did um 
for this place let me first correct this thing here for these places that i did five in one so the first row when i'm coming like the first row this first row i'm going to do this just for these places i'm going to do this i'm not going to put it directly on the stitch i'm going to put it in between the chains just for these five crochet stitches so now i'm going to go on the stitch then three chains you go on the chain three chains you go on the stitch three chains you go on the chain three chains you go on the stitch remember it's triple crochet so stitch chain stitch chain stitch chain that's what we are crocheting now just for the places all these places where you put five in one that's what you're going to do there all these places and just for this row go on the stitch three chains you go on the chain then this is the final one no it's not three chains on the stitch three chains on the chain three chains on the stitch the last stitch and now after the last stitch you do chains and you go to the next stitch because this place is finished because this place we are done with this place now when you're coming back you just keep going normal you know do this again except you find it fit to do it you feel like you need it thicker then you can do it again you can do stitch chain stitch chain on these places on this place you can see it's already it's already folding it's giving already so yeah we are done with that that part if you want it very thick you can still do stitch chain on this row all through you can still do stitch chain stitch chain stitch chain on this row but i am doing normally i'm not doing stitch chain here i'm only doing stitch chain here and only for this row the next row i'll just continue knitting my triple crochet stitch on all of them till I get the size that I want and if I think I need it more bouncy so I'm here again so I'm going to start doing on the chain three chains then I go on the stitch three chains I am going on the chain Three chains I'm going on the stitch now three chains on the chain three chain on the stitch triple crochet all triple crochet three chains on the chain three chains on the stitch And that's it chain stitch just for this and when you're coming back it's only stitch no chains no not on the stitch not on the chains just on the stitch so after this row the only thing you need to be doing is to be doing your three chain on the this stitch And you just keep going down and down at this point you've gotten the formation 
you've gotten the pattern you've gotten the stitch and you just keep going down period we are done with this dress see you when i am done so i'll show you how i just had to do i just have to come here and put um in my yarn and do rope you can do just rope you can also do do this one that i did here it's just triple crochet triple crochet all through i'm going to show you though but for now that's it guys if you notice anything you're going to notice the change of lights in this video because it is daytime now i started this video in the night and it is daytime now so uh, i'm done with it i'm done with this place like i said you just keep going you can decide to add i did not add anything again it's just on the rows where i told you to add that's where i added and i'm done i just want to do the hand you can decide to just put in your hook here and put in rope a long rope if you're lazy like me but i don't want to do laziness for this one i want it to be fine so i'm going to do it the same way i did this other one which is um thick thicker rope like this so to achieve this i'm going to just do um four chains and i will do triple crochet all through the rope so four chains being my first triple crochet stitch then i'm going to go triple crochet on all the stitches which are five or six stitches the bottom chain was eight eight chains don't forget the bottom chain was eight chains eight minus three which you're skipping that is um seven i guess six six one two three so it's remaining just one so this chain so this is it so we have five plus this last one six so i'm going to just do four chains and turn and i'm going to wear this i have done the pants already i already told you how to do pants so we are doing four chains to turn and triple crochet all through if you don't know how to do a pants there's a pants video in my on this channel on my channel just scroll down you see how to crochet a pants bikini pants and watch the video and learn how to do the pants this is a beginner's project this is very easy like i started this yesterday night and i finished it this morning i didn't sleep i slept for two hours but yeah that's because i'm busy during the day i don't want to crochet during the day so this is really really easy i thought it is hard but making the second one so fast i realized that this is actually easy to make so i hope you will try to make this and when you're done please don't forget to tag me so i see how you do it if you have any mistake if you're doing any mistake any problem at all you can send me a message on instagram with pictures that this is the progress this is what i'm doing this is what i'm confused about trust me i'm going to reply i'm going to answer you i'm going to tell you okay you have to do this or do that but you have to send me progress when you're taking pictures start from beginning okay first step you take it second step you take it so when you make a mistake i can know where to come in from okay so don't forget to follow me on my social media account joycelyn k joycelyn underscore k tiktok joycelyn dot k on Facebook, Jocelyn underscore K. On Instagram, Jocelyn underscore K with blue, blue tick on it. Verification tick on it. Okay. Um, TikTok has not verified us yet. We are not there yet. So follow me on all my social media pages. Send me messages. If you have any confusion, you can, if you don't want to drop it, you can drop it on the comment section here on YouTube and also in my DM on Instagram for pictures and all those things to review. Thank you so much. Let me wear it so you see how it looks.
okay so guys this is how it looks i think i need to make it longer because i want it to be longer but if you like it this short if you like it short you can make it short if you like it to your toe like to the ground you can make it to the ground just keep going with all the processes i've shown you already it's looking so fine i think i'll also make um the rope to be longer because this the 30 chains i made um the 30 inches waist i made is too big for me so i might need the rope to come down like the white one i'm gonna wear the white one now to show you so i might need the rope to come down so i tie it and it to be tight and fitted around the waist but this is looking nice it's a beach dress so okay so this is how the white looks it's so sexy you can see it comes with the matching pants and as you know it's a beach dress so you can wear it for dinner party and all those things but it is what it is it is what it, i think it is it is that dress you understand it is that dress so i just love it it's just perfect and i i was talking about the hand the other hand i'm gonna make it this long too so maybe if you see it on my website to buy you you're going to see a longer hand definitely you're going to see a longer hand for the ash one or any color that you want to buy so this is how it looks and i hope this video is actually helpful i hope you learn from this video because this is so simple and i say beginners friendly this is beginners friendly dress it is given it is given and i love it <laughs> it is given it is giving what it's supposed to give i love you guys thank you so much for watching please don't forget to subscribe to this channel and share this video to somebody that you think would be would like it please share like and share like and share i love you guys see you in my next video bye